Hello. Welcome to my next Let's Play. If you're following along in real time, I just finished uh, Shadowgrounds not too long ago. I had said multiple times during that Let's Play that I was going to be playing this one next. Had a little bit of a time getting this uh, going. It's the exact same engine, so I have no idea what the problem is. Um, I assume it just updated and it needed more or something. I don't know. It only came out like a year later, but I guess things changed in that time that made this a little more demanding or needed something more or whatever. Anyways, not important. Uh, this is not technically a sequel. Like, it's not a sequential number like Shadowgrounds 2. This is more of a side story. Uh, I will be going into this completely blind. I have not played this at all other than uh, other than two attempts right now to uh, get this to record or to play rather but both of those attempts were trying to record so also to get it to record uh, yeah it loads the map and then it just immediately crashed uh, I have tested and it does work now it needed needed like legacy drivers or something anyways um, my understanding of this game is I, I assume these characters that are loading in or who we're playing uh, as far as I know we don't pick one <laughs> We just, we just, like, like, um, you play as a character and then switch to another character, and I don't know if we're going to be going back and forth, or if we just do, like, their whole story in a, in a go, or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's otherwise the same game, but the characters will get their own weapons. As far as I know, mostly the same weapons from the first game, too. Uh, there are a few weapons in the first game I didn't really give a fair share, fair, um, a few of my first used or first gave a try in the final level, and that's not really a good point to try to use some of them. Um, but I'll be forced to use some of them now. So, is he drinking the flamethrower fuel? <laughs> okay, Pyro. <sighs> All right. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about this. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump on in. Uh, this is also the same engine so uh, the saves are all just plain text so I could change the difficulty <laughs> after starting but I'm going to do easy uh, for one I don't I don't know what to expect and also I still had a bit of a, a difficulty on the first game on e even on easy the shielded enemies are bad <sighs> but anyways uh, yeah let's jump on in On June 20th, 2096, the colony on Ganymede was invaded by an alien army. Only a few survived the initial attack. The odds were not good after the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. Everything becomes horribly simple when there's no hope surviving the night. The whole planet is under siege from alien monsters. Remaining military forces are fast running out of ammo. The defense systems along with long range communication systems are offline. I can't survive alone. There's too many of that damn things running wild out here. If there are still people alive on this planet, well, they'll be in the colony. I was not expecting that to be voiced. All right. Uh, so I guess we're starting as this guy. He's uh, not not Gordon Freeman, but we'll have to make do. Okay, he has a pistol. Four weapon slots. Hmm. Health upgrade. And a level? Okay. Huh. 
the map is more detailed. I don't know that that was necessary. Uh, huh. So these are locked. I wonder if we get to get upgrades sequentially. As long as the pistol is still broken, we'll be fine. I, I seriously cannot do anything with those. Okay. Well, I also like just bodying the boxes around. Very realistic. Oh, and the pipe. Yeah, I did. I did see that in the settings that there was there was some like physics settings. Anyways, let's actually play the game. Walking through these, it makes me feel like I can interact with them. Am I missing a control or something? Hey, grenade gets its own button. Uh, no. Hmm. Nothing. I thought the... Everything else should be the same. That is not a roll. Okay, whatever. Luke Marine Giffords, age 32, IGTO military squad member, location outskirts of New Atlantis. Thought that was going to read itself for a second. Oh well. Oh, okay, I already have grenades. So hopefully I don't just accidentally throw a bunch of those out. Actually wanted to book the barrels. Huh, so it's, well, it's not sequential, but we can only get certain things at a time, huh? So, okay, so I'm guessing it's three weapons and grenades. Sadness, I can't shoot up the glass. Also, no enemies and we already have the rifle. Oh, that's... Mm, that feels weird. I cannot move the map with the keyboard. Can I, zoom? I cannot zoom it! Okay, I can just click to a side. I was doing a click and drag, and that felt really weird to do. Okay. All the bodies break apart now. Hmm, I didn't get experience until that third one died. And now I'm getting it for each one. I don't know. Maybe it's because the... I bet I know what it is. I didn't get experience because the barrel killed the first two. things highlighted. I thought there was an enemy. You got a bunch of enemies there. That was a very effective grenade. Also no upgrade material yet. So, uh... uh Shooting through the barrel now. Okay. So I don't know how rare the upgrade material is going to be. Well, 
there's one. What that's telling me is that... Wait, did I level? The experience bar reset, but nothing popped up to tell me I... Okay. Special upgrades. Okay, now this is available. Okay, so I, I guess these are level... Locked? Mmm. Okay, gotta be careful for that. Med kit is mapped to M. I mean, I expect to use map with, uh... The tab button. Because that's what it's been mapped to. Um... No. I... No. Why... No. Why would you get that? Uh... Let's go with the motion sensor. I had not noticed if it was if they were actually sh the enemies were showing up on my little uh, radar, but I'm guessing based on that upgrade I just got that they probably were not. It still feels weird that these glowing things I can't interact with at all. Well, the rifle's full. Anyone who can hear me, don't give up. The attack was devastating. There are not many of us left. But there is a chance. There is a way to fight back. But I can't do it myself. So if you hear this, come and find me. I'm at the communication satellite control room by Canteen 8. Okay then. I know exactly where that's at. I'm not scrolling up and down, which means that this is probably the height of the map. Oh. Oh. Finally, windows we can break. Great, we're starting with the spiders. And the poison. really does not seem like glass is there. Yeah, the physics engine is probably why I had to get the uh, legacy drivers to get this to run. It was specifically the physics, which is maybe that has to do with physics. Is the flashlight not... Huh. The flashlight doesn't drain power now. Okay. So then we are going this way. I don't know I, how I feel about that, honestly. The flashlight, I mean. That added a... Sort of research... Resource management aspect to the game. Okay, I blew that one's head off. That's neat. Well, already the pistol is still amazing because it eats through these things and the machine gun takes a while to kill them. I don't think that um, 
experience is going to be that tight throughout this playthrough that uh, I need to worry too much about killing enemies with explosives. Like the barrels. I assume grenades count as me killing them. It's weird that being the only person existing in this world, the, the game world, I mean, that I don't get the kills for exploding barrels. Expert grenade tosses. Hmm. That looks like a shoulder tackle. Ah, uh, I got the health. I think I'll try that next time I see an enemy. Of course, I will forget. Nope, there's an enemy. Nope, that is not a shoulder tackle. It's just visually how his role is. And there goes some experience. Having only three weapons is, um... I don't know, but it does make it easier to use the keyboard to switch between them, which I ended up doing a lot more than I should have with 10 weapons. What? How? Okay. I don't know where he came from. Wait, what? What the, what the level is it over? Among the hundreds of distress signals that flooded the communications network after the attack, there was one that stood out. The signal was stronger than the rest, and unlike the rest, it broadcast on all frequencies. There are only five men who have the authorization for a signal like that on Ganymede, and three of them I know are dead. Whoever transmitted that call can help me. He'll have access. Okay. I don't know what happened there. It was a uh, kind of abrupt end of the level. Still not scrolling up and down. Hmm. Okay. What was that toss? Whatever. I don't know the time frame that this actually fits into the first game. I'm, I'm sure it gave times when things happened. I don't remember what any of them were. Like, the time of day, I don't remember. The year, I don't remember either, but that's not important. They already said the year, and I have since forgotten. I didn't kill that second worm, though. What? Oh! Oh! You popped up down there, where no one was wait No one was there to attack. Okay. What? Okay. Like, if I... If I could see what some of these are before I got levels up, I might want to save these things. It's like, I'm, I'm going to save up to get this. Maybe I won't. Climb on the big brutes and battle the furious creatures. Aiming to fire a precision shot directly to its brain, killing the brute instantly. Okay. Let's be slay brutes. I don't know which ones are the brutes. <laughs> but, um... Is that the damage upgrade? Yeah, we're just going to straight up get that right now when the pistol gets upgraded. So I'll probably will get this, but by the time I get another level up and have the points to get it, it's going to unlock something else that I'm probably going to want. If I could see what they are, I might want to save up for things. Regardless, I think the motion sensor was worth getting. Also a little bit concerned I have not gotten any more med kits. Okay, relax music. Like, if I have full health and I pick up a medkit, is that a usable medkit? I don't think so.
Well, the music sure thinks something intense is going on. Jerkworm? Yeah, I don't think experience is going to be too big of a deal. It's just, at, ah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. that. That feels weird. I'm also taking very little damage, so easy might be a little easy. These same enemies did quite a bit more than this in the first game. Target lock. Oh, interesting. In addition to just being the strongest weapon in the game, <laughs> in both games, you can just one-shot enemies, sure. Wait. Wait. Are they seriously? They are. They are. Okay. Okay. I... That is a little bit too easy. Honestly. Music? behind me. I mean, it makes sense, honestly, if the usable item is a medkit, that it should be the medkits that I just pick up. But being those medkits, that makes it too easy to just find medkits. The usable kind. I should not pick that up. Considering how short the first level actually was, this might be a little easier to manage my time in than the first one. What first game was? While I'm thinking about it, yes. So both of those were load sl load positions, slots, whatever. Whatever's shooting at me sure is trying. Oh, that, that low wall is not low enough. What? There's just a pulse wall in the wall. In the rocks, okay. Pulse rifle in the wall. Words. Okay, so I have hit the med kit cap. And I just picked that one up. Didn't even realize it. Okay, so the max is five. Oh! So we just got a boss health bar now. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's use the pistol. <laughs> you give me my level up. Oh, the, the barrel stole the kill.
Okay. Interesting. Critical hits. Okay, the pistol has the taser now. Interesting. This is worth getting. Hands down. Just gotta have that. I don't think a health upgrade is going to be important. I I think that I think the brute killer. I don't know what the brutes are. I I have a feeling it's the the big guys with the uh, two guns that later got the shields. I mean they weren't the same enemy, but you, if you watch the first game, then that's what I'm talking about. That's what I think the brutes are. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get the brute slayer, and then next is going to be something that takes. Another level up. Okay. The grenade didn't even kill the little guy. Okay. Is he stuck? No, he's not stuck. I did not get much experience for him, okay. You can relax now. You and the level's over, okay. Um. Is it? I, I mean, I think it is. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the level's over. I expected more text kept scrolling up. Anyways, I'm going to call this part here. Yeah, I think this will work out a little better, not being able to save mid-level if the levels are shorter. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to call this part here. It's going to be a little short, but better than having to stop right in the middle of a stage. But yeah, that's going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more, and thanks for watching.